in the process of testing of hypothesis, test statistics plays a very vital role. It provides us the rule or the formula that helps us to test whether our null and alternative hypothesis are true or false. The test statistics is some statistic that may be computed from the data that comes from the sample. As a rule, there are many possible values that the test statistic may assume. The particular value observed depending on the particular sample drawn. It serves as the decision maker. Since the decision to reject or not to reject the null hypothesis depends on the magnitude of the test statistics, so the general formula for the test statistic is given by the relevant statistic, subtracting the hypothesized parameter, dividing it by the standard error of the relevant statistic. Most of the tests that we will perform in this course will require this form of test statistic. So as an example of test statistics in a quantity, let's talk about the Z test, where we, have, we get Z statistics, where Z equals to X bar minus mu naught divided by sigma over under root n. Here in this statistic, X bar is the sample estimate, mu naught is the hypothesized value, whereas sigma is the standard deviation from the population and n is the sample size. Where sigma over under root n is the standard error of estimate. Likewise, this statistic is related to another statistic, which is z equals to x bar minus mu divided by sigma over under root n, where mu is the population value here. The sampling distribution is the key to the statistical inference. We are reminded of this again, that when it becomes necessary to specify the probability distribution of the test statistic, the distribution of the test statistic here when we talked about Z statistic is the standard normal distribution. Likewise, we will talk about the test statistic that is coming from the T distribution, a chi-square distribution, F distribution, and some more. The distribution of test statistics is subject to the following important factors. The first one is that the null hypothesis is true. And the second is that the assumptions that we have made for this are met.